Action. All right, so this is going to be our spirulina production system. Essentially, we're using this 55-gallon drum as the main culture uh, row area, if you will. I kind of sketched it on the board here because we haven't started on it yet. Uh, the spirulina will be in this chamber in the drum. It will get pumped up through the gutter system and kind of do a mechanical aeration as it falls through and down. It's not so much the aeration with the spirulina that is important, it's the agitation of the culture because if spirulina is exposed to light for too long, direct sunlight or even indirect strong light that's strong enough, it can go through photolysis, which is the light breaking down the cells um, of the spirulina. So yeah, essentially this is the first iteration. Uh, we're choosing a white barrel so that there is some ambient light entering the culture, uh, as well as spreading it over this surface so that again it can capture as much light for photosynthesis as possible. It'll have a spigot down here because spirulina will die, especially with variations in temperature and light. Um, this, the dead spirulina typically sinks to the bottom as sort of a mud, kind of a brown muddy stuff. So then we'll be able to clean that out, hopefully effectively. Again, this is the first iteration of the design and I think we're gonna choose this one because it will lend itself that if it doesn't work out so well, we can end up cutting it and uh, creating another system. One last bit is that we're going to run hydraulic tubing <laughs> around the exterior of the barrel just to keep it at its optimum temperature. Spirulina does best at 95 degrees. Um, it is basically uh, inactive at, at anything lower than 68 degrees. Anything above 100 degrees and it begins to die. So the hydraulic heating around the outside should help keep it nice and warm through the winter.